What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about stimulus and what could potentially be coming or not coming to the American people very soon. Because what we are now hearing is that many cities, states, and counties have uh, pretty much used the stimulus money, the $350 billion that the federal government actually sent them. They've used it, they've allocated it, they have plans for it. Some aren't spending it, some use it for uh, pretty much just to uh, recoup the, the lost revenue. But again, I wanna break down what's going on because again, a lot of people are asking about additional stimulus payments. So here's what I can tell you. Billions of dollars have been spent uh, over the past few years for uh, stimulus checks, for unemployment, for uh, you know just you know, food stamps, right? So many, a little bit with Social Security, not much, but there's been a lot of money spent. There's still billions and billions of dollars out there that hasn't been spent. We know there's been promises made for millions of people. Uh, $200 per month for social security recipients. That was a promise up to $10,000 in student loan forgiveness. That was another promise. All these promises have been made yet many have been unfulfilled. So here's what's going on now. Lawma lawmakers are asking their, you know, pretty much their constituents to uh, give them ideas, give them some support. And to stand behind them as they they work through all these different loopholes and all these different you know processes to try to get them what they need. Well, in this time, the states, the counties, and the cities have almost all spent uh, their pandemic-related funds, but it's not going to what you probably expected to go to. It didn't go to pandemic-related expenses in many cases. What we know is that according to a recent, uh, a recent uh, report, it says that right now about $80 billion of the $350 billion are still unspent and unallocated, which means it's still there, can still be used. So what you need to keep in mind is that this money, there's a good chance you're gonna see it. There's a good chance it's gonna come somewhere. You know, it might not be to you know, a stimulus check, it might not be to affordable housing or anything like that, but it might be to something like, you know, they're, they're gonna fix a, a sidewalk. They're, they're gonna provide some form of community center. Th this is kind of what we're seeing at this time. So just keep in mind that right now, even though there's a lot of money still unspent, there's a chance you're gonna see some of it, but it might not be to an actual check, okay? One thing I just want to say, and I've, I've, I've come on here many times and I've said, you know what? There's billions of dollars that are unspent. The, the states, they have until, uh, I believe, January 1st, 2025 uh, to allocate all that money. They have to allocate it. They don't have to spend it until, I believe, the end of 2026 or 2025. They have like a year or two years that they can spend it. So what does this mean? Well, here's what I can tell you. Right now, states all across the U.S. are going through a, a very difficult time. Uh, you know, we obviously had the, the big wildfire and hurricane over in Lahaina, and that's causing a lot of financial struggles for, for not millions of people, but for a lot of those, those homeowners. Right? They're still searching for, for missing people. And based off of the White House's website, they're saying they're, they're allocating $700 per household. $700 per household. That's what's coming. And I can tell you $700 per household, if you have just been displaced because of a, a hurricane or a wildfire, that's not enough. It's not going to do what you need. And so there, that's an issue there. FEMA's uh, funds have been depleted. We, you know, we have a, another fire. I live in Washington State and there's another fire, fire near Medical Lake um, that's just some, taking someone's life. Has also, 
you know, taking homes, destroyed buildings, right? It's going to cost money. But where's the money that we need to uh, replace those things? It's, it doesn't look like it's coming at least quick enough. So again, it's a little bit of a problem. Now, here's something I want to want to read you. This is from the Associated Press. It says, okay, and the reason I bring this up is because cities and states are using some of their, their funding for other things. And this is why I'm telling you this is not to get you upset, but to, to kind of wake people up that just because the, the government gave the city or state or county money doesn't mean they have to spend it on you. Just because it was pandemic related assistance, they're going to find a way to say, well, it was pandemic related assistance. For example, in the Associated Press article came out the other day, it says the Denver suburb of Lakewood, Colorado claimed its entire $21.6 million allotment as a revenue replacement. Since it had dipped into reserves to pay police during the pandemic, it reported no projects. And what it's talking about is Right in this article, it's talking about what are the projects that the, the different cities have been reporting. They may not have spent the money yet, but as long as a project is on the books, you can pretty much count it. Then it goes on to say, yet the federal aid helped the city to construct sidewalks, replace computer software, upgrade the police radio system, and make fire and safety improvements to a civic center among other things. Here's what I can tell you. Did they need uh, new sidewalks or replace computer software, upgrade the police radio system? Maybe, I don't know. How much of that is pandemic related assistance? Did the, the sidewalks, did they need to be constructed because the pandemic uh, you know, hurt the sidewalks? Probably not. Did they need to replace computer software because well, the pandemic caused it, right? Caused it to just be outdated? Probably not. But this is where this is where some of these cities and states are, are turning to. So right now, billions of dollars have been unaccounted for, have been unspent. And right now, government officials are okay with that. Now, all this is happening in a time when millions of people are struggling financially. They, they can't put food on the table. They can't uh, keep a roof over their head. Um, you know, I was doing a little, little bit of traveling last night and this morning. That's why I'm shooting this from a hotel parking lot. But where I'm at now, you see, you see hundreds of homeless people living, living under bridges, under an uh, overpass. People are being displaced. And I talked to a friend of mine in Texas and he was saying that he's extremely worried that the, his, uh, his, uh, energy bill, it was, it was two and a half times its normal amount last month. And he's extremely worried what it's going to look like this month and even next month. This is happening all over the place just because inflation is technically coming down doesn't mean it actually is doesn't mean it's getting any easier doesn't mean it's getting better and this is why millions of people are struggling is because even though everyone says oh inflation's coming down good news right we, get, we got more money no inflation the number the headline number is coming down doesn't mean energy costs are coming down doesn't mean gas prices are coming down doesn't mean food costs are coming down doesn't even mean you know rent shelter that's not even coming down it's actually gone up lately. And so I just wanted to provide you with this quick little update. What's going on with these, these stimulus payments, right? Checks aren't coming. The, the, the money, uh, and you know, I don't want to say they are not coming and there's guarantee you're not going to see anything, but it's going to be very difficult to see a, any type of stimulus payment at this time, especially after this article pretty much just outed a bunch of different cities bunch of different local governments saying that they pretty much took the money and called it revenue replacement and they ran and now these these cities uh some of these states 
they have a surplus. So they're operating at a surplus when, when their residents are struggling, can't put food on the table, can't keep a roof over their head, all because of inflation, all because we continue to uh, supply the, the American people with additional funds, right? We tried to stimulate the economy, which helped, but inflation went up. But now when these cities and states and counties could actually provide some additional relief, well, they're holding on to that money because they, they want to be ready for the next crisis. They want to be ready in case, well, their, their sidewalk needs to be replaced. You know, I went to a, a, a city recently and they had hundreds of workers out there and they were, they were leveling all the sidewalks. They were grinding down high spots in the sidewalks. Yeah, because it, it was just a little bit rough. It was, it was to help people in wheelchairs uh, and help so that the scooters, the, the little bird scooters that you can rent, uh, it, they just went down the sidewalk a little smoother. That's what they're doing. I don't know how much it cost, but was that something that was absolutely needed? I don't know. Well, that's what I got for you guys today. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.